Hello, super quick intro. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can solve the Hanayama medallion puzzle, which means I'm going to give you the, the quickest, most efficient way of solving the silver and the gold maze at the same time to separate all those four pieces, and then how you can do the exact reverse to reassemble all four pieces back into their original position in the quickest, easiest to follow way that there is. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we have a fully assembled medallion puzzle. So we've got a, a gold side here, a silver side here, and our aim is to separate the, the two silver and gold mazes from the two black shell pieces. To solve this, what we're going to be doing is keeping the, the shell pieces in this same orientation the whole time. We're going to have to swap from the gold side to the silver side quite often. Uh, but we're going to maintain the orientation relative to the shell pieces rather than the maze pieces because it's, it's a little bit easier to uh, to navigate. So what we're going to do to start with, we're going to start on the... Which side are we starting on? We're starting on the silver side. So what we're going to do first, we're going to pull the shell pieces apart slightly until we're in this position. And then what we need to do is get around this first obstacle on the left hand side of the uh, of the silver silver maze. So we come around into that position here, and then we flip over to the gold side. On the gold side, what we're going to do is move from this inside track to the uh, the furthest outside. So we're going to come to here, we pull it out, we turn it back into place here. What that allows us to do is slide up this outside part on the left, which is the only move we're going to do on the silver side, before we now go back to the gold side. Once we're in here, we're just going to come back into that that uh, inside track, one that we were on before, just into this position here. And then we can do a few quite long moves on both sides. And now what we're going to do is we're going to twist this way, we're going to come inside, and we're not going to go to the very inside on the left, we're going to stay on the one just next to it. So we are here, and we can then get around this corner on the silver side on the right. On the gold side, we're now going to do a relatively long move as well. We're going to twist down into this position. We're going to push in on the right and then keep twisting. That allows us to get around this corner on the left hand side of the gold maze before we go back to the silver side. Here, we're now just going to twist into this position here. So just halfway up this long track and then flip back to the gold side. And what we're going to do here is we're going to come down to this position we're going to push the right hand, or pull the right hand side out, sorry, and we're going to pull the left hand side out. We don't want to go in the very end track, although I don't think you can. And then we're going to twist down into this position, and that'll allow us to get around this gold corner on the left for the uh, for the next moves. Once we're in this position here, we're now going to pull, first of all pull the left hand side out because we need to twist up and get around this corner on the silver side. Uh, on the right hand side of the silver maze so that we're in this position here. Next we can then come around that corner, we're going to twist down to this position and then we're going to hold it there before we flip over, well back over to the silver side and now we're going to go this start to this distance and again we're not going to go in the closest one to the center, we're going to go to the uh, the second one in that allows us to do a move on the gold side now, which is to twist down into this position and we can now come in on the left hand side in here. We switch back to the silver side and now we need to move that to the actual inside track. So we're going to just come in here, we're going to push the left hand side in and then we're going to twist back out to this position in here. And what that allows us to do on the gold side is come down this inside track on the right hand side. So we're going to come into this position and twist down to here. And now we've just got one more move to do on the silver side, one more move to do on the gold side. On the silver side, what we're going to do is just come back to this track in here. So again, we're going to come down, pull the left hand side out, and then move back up into that position in here. And then the final move is on the gold side. What we need to do is just come around this obstacle in here. So to do that, I'm going to pull this one out. We're going to push the left hand side in. We come up, slide the right out, come down into this position. And then from here, all we need to do is line the gold maze up with the gaps. And we can separate that piece in there. 
And then we just flip over to the silver side. This is probably the most awkward part in separating and reassembling these pieces. We, uh, we take the, the silver maze apart there and that is how we disassemble the medallion puzzle. And for reassembling the medallion, this first part is probably the most awkward. However, it's very important that we get it right or the orientation right of the mazes. When I first did this one, I managed to put these two on. I, put, I managed to put the silver one on upside down and I managed to put the, the gold one on sort of like this way. So the silver one ended up with the sticker upside down. So the whole thing was 180 degrees wrong. And this one was on this side as opposed to, to this side here. So it's very important that you don't make those same mistakes that I did. And to do that, what we're going to do is the same orientation with the with the black shell pieces. They're going to be in this position the whole time. When we're first reconnecting, we want the, the, the Puzzle Master Incorporated sticker to be upside down or at the top of the medallion as we're looking down on it. We're then going to reconnect the silver side first and then we're just going to twist it and lock it in position so that it doesn't fall apart when we flip over to put the, um, the gold mates in. So once we've got that side in, we're going to flip over to the, uh, to the, the blank side at the minute. And again, we're going to do the same thing. The gold maze is going to go in with the Puzzle Master Incorporated sticker upside down and at the top as we're looking on it. The added uh, awkwardness on the gold side is that you have to get the, uh, the silver stick through the middle of the gold maze as well. But once you've done that, you're then going to lock the maze in place in this position here and our first move is on the the gold side what we're going to do is we're going to come around this corner in here so first of all we're going to push it together and then we're going to come up push in on the right and slide it down into this position in here you can push it in on the right uh, as we're looking at it here before you switch to the silver side because from here we're now going to move this inside so what we're going to do is slide here push it in on the left hand side and then slide back up into that position in here. We then go back to the gold side and one little move we're just going to slide up on the right hand side into that position here before we then go back to the silver side and from here we're going to come down and out and just into this part sort of halfway point in here before we flip back to the gold side. In here, we can now flip down into this position and then up into this position in here before we flip back to the silver side. From here, we can then get around this, uh, this corner on the silver side on the right hand side as we're looking at it. And then we go back to the gold side. From here, we're just going to go to halfway. So we come back down and we're going to stay in this gap in here before we go back to the silver side. And from here we can then also twist halfway and down into this position here before we flip back to the gold side. And from here we're going to get around this corner on the left hand side of the gold piece. Pause here before we switch back to the silver side. And from here we're now going to go around this silver corner. So we're going to come out into this middle part here and slide down and then we can get around that corner on the right hand side of the silver maze. We go back to the gold piece and we're now going to slide up, pull it out slightly but we're not going to go right to the edge on the gold piece, we're going to slide to the, uh, the next slot in, in this position. On the silver side now we're going to do a nice long move so to here, we're going to pull the left hand side out and then we're going to go to here. We go back to the gold side and we're just going to move this to the outside. So we come down, we pull the right hand side out and then we slide back up into that position in there. Then one simple move, we're just going to slide the down the outside on the left hand side into here. And now we've just got two moves to do. This is the last one on the gold side required. We're going to move this inside, so we're going to come down push in together on the right hand side and then push up into this position and then the final move is on the silver side we're going to come up and around this obstacle here slide back down and then all we have to do is push them together to fully reassemble 
the medallion puzzle. So there it is, that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the Hanayama medallion puzzle. Quite a long solution for this one, but yeah, hopefully it's been done in a way that's easy for you to, to follow along. To, it's inevitable that you have to swap sides, which can make you struggle with the orientation of the puzzle, but hopefully keeping sort of that flat bit on the top and working in the same positions, yeah, it's easy for you to follow along to. If you run into any issues or have any questions with the medallion solution, then comment below and I'll, I'll do what I can to, to help you with your medallion puzzle. And thank you very much for being here. If you want to see me struggle through the, the medallion puzzle for the first time, or if you want to see the solutions for any of these other Hanayama puzzles, then be sure to click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.